Hi guys, it's Sparkle and Minnie Moo. So today's web episode is all about the Walt Disney World Magical Express. If you're familiar with the Walt Disney World Magical Express, then you know how it works. But if not, then you may want to stay tuned, especially if you're planning a trip to Walt Disney World and you will be traveling by air. The Walt Disney World Magical Express is made available to you at the Orlando International Airport. If you plan on not renting a car once you land at the airport, then the Walt Disney World Magical Express is the way you need to go. Now you need to know that this is a service that is free of charge to anyone staying on site at the Walt Disney World Resort and Hotels. It's not available to anyone who plans on going to Walt Disney World, but plans on staying outside the park. So if you plan on staying, let's say, at the Embassy Suites or the Hilton or the Marriott Hotels, the Walt Disney World Magical Express will not transport you to your hotel. You have to be staying on site. So whether you're staying in a deluxe resort hotel, a moderate resort hotel, or a value resort hotel, if you're staying within the Walt Disney World parks, this service is made available to you free. So how does it work? Once you've booked your trip, if you don't have your airline tickets upon booking and you decide to get your airline tickets later, then what you do is you either contact Walt Disney World and give them your airfare information, or if you have a travel agent, contact him or her and they will take care of it for you. Roughly about anywhere between two to three weeks before before you leave for Walt Disney World. Disney World will mail you a Magical Express packet and it kind of comes like this. This is the bag, I thought it was really cute. And in here is all your Magical Express information. Now for us, because we went through a travel agent, she received our information and we had to stop by her travel agency to pick it up. But if you're dealing with Disney World directly, they will just mail you the information because we had a friend who dealt with them directly and he got his packet right through the mail. The packet comes like this and it's filled with all your information. I'm kind of covering up mine. And in here, it has valuable coupons that you can use during your stay. And here's just like, for example, you got a miniature golf voucher that um, we could have used. But also in the front of it, it gives you a complete layout of your whole Magical Express package, meaning how many nights you're staying at your hotel, um, your park hopper information, your free mugs with your dining plan. I mean, this has it all. Also in your package, you get these little cute, nice plastic tags to put on your luggage. And they come, and back here they have a little slit to where you can put your personal information. Every party member in your party that is traveling with you will receive one of these. So like we had five in our party, myself, my husband, and our three kids. So we each received one of these for each of our luggage. You also receive what's called a Magical Express tag. And I will show you mine, kind of cover up some of the information. But on the tag, has my name if you notice there it says Rachel and if you notice it has MK and it has the word Polynesian when you arrive to your airport okay to leave for Disney World you put these tags on your luggage extremely important okay if you plan on having your luggage delivered to your room by Walt Disney World if you do not put these tags on your luggage, you will have to go down to but luggage claim and collect your luggage before you get on the Walt Disney World Magical Express bus. You do get one for every party member. As you can see, we got five of these for each person in our party. You need to put this on your luggage, okay? It's very important. And what happens is when you land in Orlando and they go to take the luggage off the plane, those people in Orlando know what these tags mean, okay? 
They deal with people flying in and out of Orlando International Airport every day to go to Disney. When they see these tags, they take that luggage and put it on a separate cart because they know that luggage is going to a Walt Disney World Resort and they know which resort because it has the name on it. Remember, I showed you mine had the Polynesian. Okay, so when you land in Walt, when you land in Orlando, you do not pick up your luggage. The Walt Disney Magical Express takes care of that for you. The only thing you do is you just get on that bus and you go to your hotel. Now, your luggage will not be on the bus with you, okay? It will come later on a separate bus. So make sure that you take any important documents upon checking in, any important valuables, medication. If you plan on going swimming right away, you may want to pack your swimsuit on your carry-on. But anything that you're going to need immediately when you arrive to Disney World, you want to pack on your carry-on. But make sure you pack your valuables and any documentation that you're going to need upon checking in at your resort. So what happens? You leave your destination to arrive to Walt Disney World and Orlando International Airport. As soon as you get off the plane, you're going to head down to the Walt Disney World Magical Express check-in station. Now, when you arrive at the airport in Orlando, there's two terminals, okay? There's the main terminal, and then there's a monorail that takes you to where all the planes departure. You're gonna arrive, arrive in the terminal where all the planes departure. So as soon as you get off the plane, usually there's a sign posted, at least for Southwest, that says, you know, Disney, you know, Magical Express, main terminal, level, I think it said level one, or I can't remember, but it said main terminal. So what happens is when you get off your plane, okay, you're going to head over to the monorail. And there's tons of people there to help you if you've never landed in Orlando before. You get on that monorail and it takes you to the Orlando International Airport's main lobby, okay? You get off the monorail and you want to take the escalators or stairs or elevator down to level one, which is like the bottom level. And there's a lot of signs directing you to the Walt Disney World Magical Express. But again, if you're having a hard time, feel free to ask anybody there who works there, security guard or an employee for assistance, and they would be happy to help you. You could also follow the crowd too, because a lot of people are heading to Walt Disney World. When you arrive down on the main level of the Orlando International Airport at the bottom, you're going to see all the rental cars um, stations there to help you for a rental. But you just want to keep heading down all the way down to the end. And before you know it, you will approach the check-in for the Walt Disney Magical Express. Now, all we had to do to check in was just scan one of our bands. And then it showed our party and it showed which hotel we were staying at. As they divide the lines up based on hotel. So that way your bus is not making multiple stops to each resort. And they kind of divide it up. For example, the bus that we got on was going to the Polynesian and the Grand Floridian and I believe the Contemporary. So we got on our bus and of course, when we get on there, the people that are there to welcome you are very hospitable and just very kind and sweet. And they're very entertaining, too. During your short trip on the bus, you get to watch multiple videos telling you about the latest attractions at Walt Disney World and reminding you of all the wonderful things that you can do during your stay. You are entertained during the 15, 20 minute bus ride to the Walt Disney World Resorts and Hotels. Upon your arrival, you will get off the bus at your hotel. Of course, there's somebody greeting you there. If you're staying at the Polynesian, they're there to greet you with lays. And what I really like about it is that they're there greeting you by name. Don't ask me how Disney knows this, but they know when you arrive and somebody is there to greet you by name. They greet us by our last name and we did a pre-check in right there as we were walking into the hotel. And when we arrived, we checked in because we arrived to Walt Disney World on off season. Of course, our room was ready, but our luggage wasn't with us. 
So if you're somebody, like I said, that has carry-ons, but you do not want to bring that stuff into the park, let the concierge at your hotel know, and they will be happy to hold your stuff in a secure location until your room is available. But if your room is available during check-in, then go ahead and just drop that stuff off at your room. So let's say you decide to head out to the parks. You're having a blast. Disney makes sure that your luggage arrives to your room, and they will place it in your room for you. They take care of all of that. There's no need to worry. Our luggage arrived, I don't know at what time, because we arrived in Disney probably about 10.30. We checked into the Polynesian and we got something to eat and we headed back to the parks. We didn't arrive back to our room until maybe 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night, and our luggage was there waiting for us. Now, when it's time to leave Walt Disney World, it can be a very sad time because you don't want to go home. But Disney Magical Express and your resort and hotel takes care of everything for you. Now, we always stay at a deluxe resort, so I can't speak for the moderates or the value resorts as how they handle your departure. But at the deluxe resorts, they have a TSA agent there waiting to take your luggage. They'll weigh it right there for you. So the day before you leave, like we left on a Friday, they slipped a little piece of paper under our door telling us the procedures that we need to follow upon checking out to get our luggage safely to Orlando International Airport. So Saturday morning, when we woke up, we saw an envelope package under slipped from under our door and it was actually our boarding passes. Our resort and hotel, along with the Walt Disney World Magical Express, took care of our boarding passes for us. We were instructed to take our luggage downstairs to the main lobby, where, like I said, a TSA agent was there waiting for us. They weighed our luggage to make sure it met the requirements for weight, and we checked in right there at the concierge counter. And all we had to do, they took our luggage, they secured it in a very safe place for us. All we had to do was arrive at Walt Disney World International Airport and just hop on our plane. And when we got back home, our luggage was safely on the conveyor belt to take it home with us. Disney World thinks of everything. They want to make your trip as pleasurable as possible so you come back again. Now, here's a little thing that we learned about Orlando International Airport. Orlando International Airport doesn't serve gum to you, but we wanted something for our kids to chew on as we took off, so my husband got them Starburst. And when he went into one of the store, you know, um, little boutiques there in the airport, he used the word Disney World. And when he did, the lady behind the counter gave him all of the Starburst packets for free. And she said, because you use the word Disney World, you get your Starburst for free. So I don't know if everybody does that or just that particular employee, but we just really thought that was great. So on your next trip to Walt Disney World, or if you're contemplating a trip to Walt Disney World, consider using the Magical Express if you plan on flying. Now I did have a client or someone ask me, about um, airline tickets to Walt Disney World. If you plan on flying to Walt Disney World and you want the best rates, I suggest you start looking now, at least a year out. And what my husband and I did is we logged on to airwatchdog.com. My husband typed in, you know, where we would be leaving from and where we'd be flying to our destination and our return flight information. And then what Air, Dog, Air Watchdog does is that throughout the time that you punch in that information, they will send you the best rights. We went in December, but we booked our airline tickets in May because we could not beat the rate that they were offering at that time. So if you plan on flying to Walt Disney World, 
please start looking at airline tickets now, at least six months out, so you can try to get the best rates. And like I said, you can rent a car, but if not, I highly recommend that you use this free service that Walt Disney World offers. If you have any more questions about airline tickets or the Walt Disney World Magical Express, please feel free to leave a comment or you can email me at sparkleminimoo.com or sparkleminimoo at yahoo.com and I will do my best to answer your questions. Y'all take care and have a magical day and may the Lord just keep you in His grace. Bye guys, hugs and kisses.